Good morning, good morning. Bit of a lack of energy today. Hope that's not going to come across in the video. We are about two weeks into our stay here in Scarborough Marina in Brisbane. And man, it's been a grind. As you probably know from following along, because I know all of you subscribe and watch every video, um, we quite sort of went down from Magnetic Island quite fast and we did, I don't know, thousand miles of no oh yeah whatever relatively quickly sort of like a whole day of sailing one or two days off another whole day of sailing and we sort of were looking ahead to this two weeks in brisbane like oh it'll be a little break a little holiday and man we have literally well i'm worn out I, i've yeah as i said the sleepworm has just been stealing my sleep waking up every morning more tired than the next day so anyway we are uh, tomorrow is christmas and then we're leaving on the 26th and we've got a lot to do today because obviously tomorrow we're not going to get anything done Christmas with family so we have a whole list of stuff here to do and there's more because the list is full we've just run out of space so we've got a lot to do and we want to show you this lovely marina a little bit too and, and uh, why we love being here anyway let's get into it so this behind me here is Scarborough Marina in Moreton Bay in the north side of Brisbane and it's sort of funny <clears throat> for those of you who watched my videos for a long long time about five years ago or six years ago even i first bought shahalian down in the south end of brisbane brought her back up here and hauled out in this very yard and yeah first days of owning shahalian i think i sailed her once and then hauled out so it was all getting to know her i cleaned the bottom and repainted it and put new solar panels rah, rah, rah. go back and watch this video i'll try and link it up here Anyway, after doing up to Gladstone, over to Sol Solomon Islands, up through PNG, around Indonesia for five years, sailing back down here, we're back at Scarborough Marina. And it's pretty cool. And they've looked after us really well. They invited us back here. And uh, we've been here nearly two weeks now. And as I said, we've got heaps to do because we're leaving in two days. But we thought we'd show you around the marina a bit and why we like it so much here. But before showing you more of Scarborough Marina and our daily tasks, let's have a little look back on our last two weeks in Scarborough Marina, where we did a lot of jobs. Bearing the rollers. Yeah. So we did the wall taping already, but we didn't show that because we already shown our taping so many times in these videos I think that's something we did quite a lot this uh, last year and a half I would say and we're gonna redo the paint of the cockpit we are starting to be pretty good with the mix for the paint international perfection as it is the third time we are using it this year Same with the painting, rolling first the paint and brush it lightly just after to get rid of the tiny bubbles that the roller is doing. Ooh, it's hot work. Temperature's holding really good though and it doesn't look like rain so it's going good. We've got maybe 30% of it done. Um, ripping along. It's going to be so good when all this is finished. Painting the cockpit was not that easy. The space is not really big and you easily step on each other. It is also quite easy to do some mistakes as walking or put your elbow on the fresh paint. There were also a lot of tiny areas to paint in between the instruments, the engine controller, the different doors of the hatches, but we did a great job without major incidents. Right, so we got a first coat of um, international perfection in the cockpit yesterday and it turned out really good it looks beautiful actually look at this shiny stuff I'm shiny yeah how do you think the first coat went uh, quite good it was more easy than in magnetic I think First, because we start to be trained, as it's the third time we are doing painting on the boat. 
and also the paint was less sticky because the temperature is around 24 degrees I would say right now so you have more time to work and finishing correctly with the brush to make it the more smooth as possible so yeah I would say it was quite good the only other thing that's left to paint after that is all the anti-skid all this up here um, here here that's all looking pretty terrible um, so yeah we'll probably do that next week anyway we're gonna get on with the second coat now after seeing that the first coat was looking good we were more confident to do the second one all right well we're pretty happy with how it came out um, yeah it's well it's always sort of difficult to remember two days ago how it, how it was because it just looks looks good now but you're like oh I don't know. But anyway it's definitely much better there was dings and it was a bit yellowy and and it had an orange peel that's for sure we've sanded all that out and now we're really smooth and glossy again you maybe think that we are not really good because there's a lot of white on the gray but we know we're gonna paint the anti skid soon too so we were not really taking a lot of care of not touching the things but how does the paint itself look? Well, it looks quite good. In the meantime, Shielion was getting prettier and prettier. She was also getting incredibly messy. It was absolutely impossible to get Shielion tidy between the fresh painted area the tools and our everyday needs. It went a bit out of control, but it didn't stop us and we continued to work. Cockpit's getting a spruce up. First coat of this membrane going on. We'll do another coat this afternoon or maybe tomorrow morning. And that's when I use the uh, fiber roller and get the little bit of grip in it. New colour, look at the difference, dark, old, Marie would call it man grey, yep. and then sandy champagne is the new colour, it's more feminine touch, I'm getting in touch with the feminine side of Shishi. We used the same brand of anti-skid as the original grey was, it's emma clad, but as we were able to pick the pigment we were wanting for this new batch, we tried to pick something who would match our covers from Zoom sales, and we are really happy of the results. It was incredibly satisfying to see slowly the old grey, full of stains, disappearing for a brand new clean and bright look. Ooh, it's hot. She's gonna look sweet though. Finally, anti skids going on. We'll be finished this today. We'll be able to pull off the masking tape and she'll look like schmick. After a bit more than a week of hard work, she Elion was more beautiful than ever. Now that we offered a new use to she Elion, we decided to start a new job. Vernon had to climb the mast oh, to oh, install oh, a new oh, inner force day. Oh. But wait, wait, wait. This video will be an hour if I am starting this tale. We all have a busy life and we would not take too much of your time this week. So let's keep this story for another episode and go back on our busy day of the 24th of December. Off to do some laundry and what else? What else are we doing? Uh, but it's more the reason we are doing the laundry like first because there's a washing machine here and that's good but also we're gonna have a special guest on board soon and we're gonna talk about that soon yeah so we're trying to get the boat all nice and clean and and uh we don't really know next time we'll have good access to laundry washing machine so we'll get all that out of the way This one. So 
normal one, yes. One thing I really like here is in the laundry place, they have this wall area that you can give things you are not using, but also finding things that people are not using anymore. And it, it's quite nice, like for the two weeks we had here, we had some good swap of things. Trash and treasure. Yeah, trash and treasure. Today it's me letting some stuff. You want some ice cube maker? No. Or a uh, pressure cooker. Some good books here. Yeah, this is one of the highlights of going into marinas in Australia. For me, is that all of them have like a, a book place. And some of them is just a little one line of book in the laundry. Some of them it's just, you know, really just a few people drop books off. Townsville had an amazing one, and this is probably one of the best ones. It's so good. There's really good books here. I mean, all sailors, I guess, like to read because, you, you know, you're not on Netflix and that most of the time. But there's also really, like, useful books. There's cruising guides for, I don't know, lesser aunties, the... Les Antilles. Antilia, the cruising guide in Mexico, the North B Biscay pilot guide, yeah, all sorts of stuff, and then yeah, all your crazy novels and all that sort of stuff. It's pretty awesome. And I normally leave about 10 and take 10 or just interesting ones. I left this one, that's a really good book, Mutiny of the Bounty. Yeah, good stuff. So I'm using this uh, big table, it's more easy than in the boat to wrapping some of the Christmas gifts we made for tomorrow. This one is for the mother of Verna. So it's pretty cool having this, it's called the cruiser's room. It's pretty cool, you know, as I said, the library and, and table and there's a big TV here. There's wireless, tea, coffee over there. It's not a massive room, but it is quite well used. We often come here, I come here to edit the videos since I've been here. I've edited a couple in here. And yeah, it's just nice to have a little, you know, get off the boat and, um, you know, do stuff here. It's pretty cool. What are you up to? I cleaned the fridge and I'm trying to reorder in because we still have the special guest who's coming and we need a little bit of space to sharing the fridge and eating what we want to eat all. Okay, this is a bit of a long story, but I'll try and make it short. I wanted to replace these port lights. As you can see, they're very crazed, cracked. I mean, if you look through from here, they're fine. It's just the surface area, but definitely it lowers the amount of light that comes in, and we can't really see out. And I'm sure they're not quite as strong as they were originally if we were to get a massive wave through here. So I tried to do it in Townsville, as I told you in that video. Oh, I'll come back in five months, mate. We can maybe look at it. So that obviously doesn't work. And then I found a guy down here called um, Brisbane Marine Windows. And I thought, perfect. I gave him a ring and he goes, oh, pretty busy, but if you bring it in, I'll, yeah, I'll get it done before Christmas. I'll cut them out at least. You can drill the holes. And I was like, sweet, that's awesome. So I took him in, made sure he realized it had to be before Christmas, left him there, and then about, I don't know, a week later, I hadn't heard anything. So we were driving past doing something else, and I thought, I'll just drop in quickly and just remind him. And, I mean, it's not just him. There was five or six blokes working there. And I dropped in, and they, it was still sitting on the table where I left it. And I was a bit like, oh, they haven't even started on this. And this was, yeah, three days ago. So I, um, yeah, I said to them, oh, you know, you did say this would be ready by Christmas. Is that still good? And he goes, yeah, yeah, you can rely on us. We'll get it done. I'm just, you know, we'll start on it soon. And, you know, on a bandsaw with the old one, you don't even have to trace it out. They just, they just copy it. So I was like, all right, cool. And then yesterday we were just a little bit away from the boat and then uh, I realized it was Friday afternoon and I realized, oh, I still haven't heard from them. So I called them up, it took ages to get through and then the guy was like, oh no, everyone's gone home a few hours ago, they won't be back till next year. And I was like, come on, you guys promised me. And two days ago I reminded you and you promised again that they'll be ready. And he was, oh no, well I guess someone forgot it or whatever, you know, the same, just making excuses. So I just said, well, I don't care about the new windows. I've got to have the old one back because we're going to see and we've got a rubbish bag as a window. And he goes, oh, I'll try and get down tomorrow. That's today now. I'll try. And I was like, it's got to be better than try. You've got to get there. So I wrote them an email last night and just tried to get as much happening as I could. 
And then, yeah, this morning, actually, uh, he wrote to me and said, um, it's all, the place is all locked up, but someone's been there and put it out and left it behind the gate, this original one. So, yeah, we went and picked it up, and now I'm just fitting it again. So we still don't have new windows, but at least we have a window. And, uh, you know, it's not doesn't leak or anything. So, I don't know. This would have been the ideal opportunity because we've been here two weeks and that's how long it seems to take to get things done in Queensland most of the time. But uh, obviously even longer. I mean, before Christmas, it's fair enough. If he'd have said, no, nah, look, we're snowed under, we've got no time, I would have been like, cool, no worries, I understand, it's Christmas. But if he says, yeah, yeah, we can do it twice, then I sort of rely on him to, to do that. And yeah, I was pretty pissed off actually. But it all turned out okay. We still don't have windows, that's all. But I'll try and get some in. Yeah, Sydney or Tasmi, Tassie. Anyway, that was still quite a long story, even though I tried to make it short. Two a diesel, one a petrol. Forty-five get the get the high quality petrol for the outboard. Ninety-eight. So we're at Coles, getting some last minute um, yeah, groceries. We got most of our stuff the other day, but we're just getting some last minute stuff because obviously Christmas tomorrow, Boxing Day, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, freezer, freezer stuff and uh, fresh fruit and veg. Got everything? Yep. How's your list looking? Um, we've got almost everything. It's only the frozen, I think we oh, need yeah, now. Oh yeah, and uh, milk powder. What are we getting? Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Maybe. Back to the boat with loads of stuff. I would like that this room is magic and I can go fast to the bay. Well, you are a witch. Not so much, I think. I think I'm pretty nice and I'm not a witch. You're not enough of a witch to make the broom work. Need yeah, to get probably. a witch, need to get a witch school, but that's not a witch's broom anyway. No, not so much. That's a cleaner's broom. Oh, who's this guy? Bloody Christmas, can't wait till it's over. Anyway, Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. This is a very heavy one. Oh, everything needs to come on, but just drop it all there and then I'll come up and we'll do it after that. We need to fill up with water, even if we have the showers and everything, and we are using normally less water because we did a lot of job here and we had to clean a lot the boat. We used a lot of our water in the tank, so before leaving I would like we are filling up. That's a lot of water. Yeah, it's been raining a lot uh, the last couple of days. Uh, well, the last couple of weeks really. We haven't used this dinghy at all since we've been here. So, yeah, we need to load this up. So I've got to go and give it a clean and get it ready to go.
All right, that's the dinghy on board. It's time to say goodbye to Scavaro Marina. We had two weeks here, quite busy week, but really good to have showers when you are working. And I want really, and we want really to say thank you to Scavaro Marina team and especially to Richard. Uh, he was an amazing host and thank you for the Christmas party and all the good tips about the good place around. Yeah, that was really a super good time here and, and we had a really pleasant moment even if it was a working time. And now it's time to present you our guest we are talking a lot about. We have the mother of Vernon, Mari. Hello. Another Hello. Mari on board. Hello, Mari. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, yeah, she's gonna stay with us for two or three weeks and having some sea adventures until Sydney with us. And now we are going in Brisbane. We're gonna try to drop the anchor in the river and visit a little bit the downtown that I didn't see yet. All right guys, big goodbye for me too. Been a great stay here in Scarborough. The boat's looking swish again, beautiful, good as new. We'll be doing a video to show that actually, um, what we've done, but Anyway, it's time to say thanks again to patrons. It's obviously Boxing Day today, so we've had a lot of uh, gifts and, and good cheer and good feelings in the last couple of days. And, and um, I want to say big, big thank you to all our patrons and supporters, all of you out there who watch our videos and appreciate the work that goes into them. We appreciate your generosity and your support equally as much. Very, very cool. And uh, yeah, I wish you all a, well, a post Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and um, we'll see you again next week. Bye bye.